अवतार महर बाबा की जय अवतार महर बाबा की जय अवतार महर महर बाबा की जय जय बाबा ओ यू प्रताप जी जय बाबा थैंक यू जय बाबा जय बाबा टू एवरीबॉडी वी हैड ए फेस्टिवल लास्ट डे ए डे बिफोर that is called gudi padwa are you you have been knowing about it uh, yeah Be- in fact up, up this time i had an uh, understanding that uh, lord ram after he comes back to his throne uh, after killing ravan and he comes back to ayodhya just to take over from his younger brother and in that happiness this godi godi parva or godi the the bamboo they are raising the bamboo along with decorated bamboo so that was a matter of happiness for all the citizens of that place but then lately i just read in the in the newspaper or in an in an article written by a very knowledgeable person that uh, this is the day of course this is the day uh, on which the indian year starts chaitra but then what he said is that it is the day on which the whole world has come into existence i, I do not know about that but then he he had said that uh, this is the day on which the whole 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 creation has come into existence anyway that is not the subject uh, for us today i was just going to talk a little about him uh, one of a very old person from our group from the pune group i would say and uh, the name of the person was sule d s sule t u l e s u l e sule he was an elderly person we were all young very young but then he was an elderly person and he had come and settled in pune he had come from nagpur he was from nagpur he left his family and came to pune to settle in pune he was a little bit uh, of a na- eccentric nature very moody and uh, for us that can be the reason i am not very sure but that can be the reason why he could not i mean address adjust with the family people and he came to pune and settled in pune now in the initial stages he lived with uh, some of the baba lovers especially ramstar gadekar he stayed there for a few a couple of months and then at mr thardes also he stayed for some time and there after he took a shelter in the in a in a mat called a devji bawa mat devji bawa mat what what this mat is called i do not know that what doesn't come to my mind immediately but then that was a place where he started staying and that this old man must be about 65 then during that time he was very moody very whimsical and uh, one cannot predict as to what will be the reaction whenever we say something and what will be his reaction one cannot predict that was the person uh, for example i tell you if uh, he comes at the time when people are taking food a family in a family where the people are taking food and if if somebody asks 
or the head of the family asked Kaka, we used to call him Kaka. Kaka is uncle. Kaka, would you like to have food? And he would just shout, Am I a beggar at your door? How dare you ask me? I am not a beggar. And uh, and that that to him will be in a very very hot mood. And if you don't ask him, then he will say, "What? The do these are so so very uh, uncultural people. They don't have a, a courtesy to even invite me for a food." <laughs> Both he used to. <laughs> have his own say and that is why the people all we people were very scared of uh, talking with him but then the person had his own style of living he he started living that much a, a old woman who was taking care of that but but the name of that much is devjiwa but you must have been some saintly personality and uh, he used to stay there and then after his death the one woman used to take care of that place people used to come there stay at a couple of days and then go away now this man sure he started staying there early in the morning at three o'clock he will get up take cold water bath cold water bath in, in every season may it be very biting cold or may it be sunny in the, I mean they say summer season but then he always used to take cold water bath early in the morning and thereafter he had a couple of dresses one race he will just wash the, during the night time and uh, one after the other he will keep on changing but he has only one coat and one cap that will be common and uh, a shirt and dhoti a very simple living person he was eating little amount from his family his, his sons were there and uh, after his death, one of the sons had come and talk about him in Pune Center. Anyway, that, uh, that family used to send some, some amount, give some amount to him. Within that amount, must be something about 25 rupees or so. Within that amount, he used to stay there in that but <clears throat> And he used to visit various Baba, Baba family places, especially few few places he used to be very fond of play, visiting those places. One is Mr. Thardis place, another is Mr. Bhavsar, another is Mr. Bhavle. Some of the families used to often go and spend little time, take little rest. That was his usual program the whole day. And whenever any Baba program is there, he invariably attend those programs. A very sincere man as regards the attendance of Baba programs are concerned. Now this man, whatever amount he used to get from his family, he would spend a little amount for print, printing very cheap paper, hand bills. He used to translate English messages into Marathi and then print them on a very cheap paper. And then early in the morning after he takes 
tea that the woman used to prepare tea for him he will take a cup of tea and then go around putting that handbill in each house like a postman if there is little opening through the window or through the door he will just push that uh, handbill inside that 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 used to be his every day practice and then of course in the often time he will come to some family he will take food and uh, have a rest little now this man had a uh, he used to talk and give talk to we people that was on saturday saturdays uh, at 4 o'clock in the evening we had half day school i was in the hostel and many inmates of the hostel they used to attend his lectures that lecture was not with with any any intention of learning something it is only under the pressure of the superintendent mr lb thadi lakshmi narayan thadi he was the superintendent of the hostel and he wanted the these boys who should come and attend to these lectures so the young boys like me they used to go and sit there and uh, listen to their talks his uh, most favorite talk was samskaras or the impressions that they, as we call it in english samskaras that and uh, that that was not the age for us to understand what these samskaras mean how they are created and how they are annihilated that that it this this subject was just beyond our understanding but then then under the pressure we used to sit there listening i mean i pretended to listen to the talks and that man used to give very sincerely talks on the samskaras it should happen once and then and as he was very whimsical whenever there is some sabha program or something of a sort babu would give him a silence <laughs> he has he has to keep silent during that time baba didn't want any <laughs> problem for him anyway now this thing this man was a uh very very faithful to baba whatever baba says he will carry out that now when it so happened once that when we were sitting there one person of a parsi gentleman he came there he happened to visit there during that session that lecture session of mr sulika ka we were sitting listening to the lectures and that uh, a person came a parsi gentleman came and a couple of our people went out and they received him very respectfully they brought him and made him sit and he was sitting there along with us in front of us in fact and that lecture the lecture is going on now he is a parsi gentleman his name is madan he uh, the favorite name was madan ashcharya malam ashcharya malam miraculous ointment malam means ointment a miraculous ointment why it is called miraculous he used to make that himself he had some process he had some formula to make that malam or the ointment what you may say or a balm or whatever you may say and for every every problem that ashira malam was useful <laughs> any you may have any problem you may have to take to take you may have some swelling you may have some pain you may have some um, uh, congestion in your throat for everything that that 
Ashram Vallabha could be used. Once I just, once I just um, had little, little cold, very little cold, just I sneezed in, in his presence and he, oh, you have cold, you, um, you made him open my, wide open my mouth and then uh, took that uh, ointment and <laughs> he applied to my throat inside. That was more than once he offered this uh, ointment to Mir Baba also. But Mir Baba said, you keep it for yourself. I don't need it. Now this, this man, he had a peculiar Parsi habit. That was spreading his collars and doing foof, blowing air through his mouth and then moving his palm on his face. That's something he was always doing that. And uh, what I sincerely thought, because of the peculiar actions, I thought that the one who is called Mer Baba, perhaps he, he, he seems to be Mer Baba. And I was very devotedly devotion, with, with much of devotion, I was looking at him throughout that <laughs> lecture session. And after some time, he sat there for quite some time. And then just a little before we close our session, uh, they took him outside and he went away. Then I went to Mr. Third and said that uh, um, I was very happy to see Meher Baba. The person who had come is Meher Baba. <laughs> Third said, what a fool you are. Meher Baba is far, far, far handsome. than this person. Now, when I was this person, there are some peculiarities of this person. When that's Madan, I said Madan was his friend. And when we were going for uh, 50, uh, for 16th October 1950, we were proceeding to Mahabaleshwar from Pune. That time, she along with Madan, they talked with each other and they decided that let us walk the whole distance from Pune to Mahabaleshwar. And perhaps that much I been talk among them. And then according to, according to our program, we started in a bus. And believe me, two-third distance, this Sule, a man of 65 or so, with his, with a, his umbrella in his uh, hands, he was walking by the roadside. And when our bus came from behind, and everyone, oh, now, we were with the Mr. Thade and uh, the organizers were very much um, afraid because what will be the reaction of this person now? Uh, one could not predict as to what he will burst out in anger or something. But then very respectfully, they caught hold of him and then very respectfully brought him, brought him inside the bus. And what he got is that a seat uh, just close to Madan. <laughs> and the bus started. Now this Madan, he had promised, he had promised that I will come with you, we will walk. During that time, he just tried to pacify Suhi Kaka moving his hand on his on his cheeks 
like this on his face like this and sureka burst out get 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 away from me get away don't talk with him nonsense he had promised me that he will be accompanying me on foot journey and now you are comfortably sitting in this bus whereas i am i have come all the way uh, walking anyway this man when i was when that uh, puna bhajan mandal was invited for a program and i was chosen to stay for few days with mir baba we were sent back and then i was to go there all alone thade mr thade who was the superintendent of our hostel she was instructed by mir baba that after one week you send him back to me that is what mir baba had instructed mr thade and about a about a dozen people had come to everybody was very happy that a person a boy from our group has been is chosen for by mir baba to stay with him for few days everyone was very excited very happy and many people about a dozen people came to see me off there at uh, the bus stand now there was little time that driver had taken his seat and the bus was was just to start this man comes very quietly inside comes to me my seat and hands over one something wrapped up in a paper and what he said was you open it on your way i just kept it put it in my pocket and uh, then of course i started the bus started towards the mahabishwar and after traveling about half more than half a distance i became curious as to what what mr surek has given to me and he had said that uh, you open all the way so i just opened it and what i found was some sub toffees or um, what we call limlet it is a what we call a sort of a they made me with toffees and uh, that was in fact a poor person she had poured his love in that and very quietly he just came inside and put that packet in my hands so lovingly so lovingly a person who is so very whimsical and so very outspoken and she he expresses his love through that small gesture i still remember and uh, because he was very he had become very happy very happy that someone from our group have was chosen by mir baba to stay with him this is sule kaka he passed away in pune only and we all attended his funeral such persons they make a permanent mark on our hearts because their way whatever may be the person personal nature of a person but then amaz baba lovers that love amaz baba lovers it could not be expressed or it could not be i mean compared with anything that is sure kaka i 
very much remember when when i was going through some of my old papers i remembered and i thought that i should speak about him today a very nice person a very loving person in in his heart he was loving outwardly he may be he may seem to be little uh, eccentric but then at his heart he was he, he had composed one song Uh, for us, when we were in Mahabaleshwar, we had a young group. Early in the morning, getting up at three o'clock, we had cold water bath. In in Mahabaleshwar, the the wells were very deep inside, very deep, and that, because of the depth, the water will be very cold, ice cold water. But then we would take out that water with the bucket and then pour on. On our body, my friend will pour that bucket on my head. I will pour another bucket on his head, and that that used to be the way we used to take bath and then change clothes and then at early in the morning when we there is still dark, we started towards towards that bungalow, a Gagan bungalow. singing that song utha utha ho chala sarudan chala darshanala let us go for darshan of the one who has come down on this earth he has come to meet you so let us go to for his darshan that was the meaning of that song and uh, now i will have a one song for you ek ghazal we say we had in pune we had one person by name watpe watpe was a singer she was a semi classical singer semi classical singer and he was very uh, famous uh, for the uh, ganesh festival he used to have for the ganesh festival uh, they used to invite him and whole night he used to sing that that the uh, style of singing is called bhav geet bhav means emotion emotional song and he used to sing in a beautiful way he has a beautiful way of singing he had not sung before baba and from somewhere he had come couple of time even more than more than uh Maybe at five six times he had given program at our center, Pune center. And during that time, he thought of having his seva or his service in Baba's presence. And when he came to know that uh, Baba likes cousins very much. so he has mastered some of the ghazals very selected ghazals and he had sung before baba and he has entertained baba so much very much baba liked his singing and uh, baba also appreciated amongst all the gathering that this this man such beautiful singing he has entertained me and he has About hundred records, disc record discs on his singing. So one of the ghazals which he had sung before Baba, that I am going to sing along with the other uh, discussion or other uh, other information or whatever mean it may be, but the. meaning of that song it is it is based on love 
Sign up now. If you want, what is the agony of love? You have to shed tears. Asubha ke dek kabi muskura ke dek. It is not only not only shedding tears. It is also smiling. Both are contained in the matter of love. Shedding tears and smiling in happiness, both are contained in that love. Dil ki lagi hai kya ye to dil laga ke de, aasu baha ke de, ek kabi muskura ke de. Parvana jal raha hai. मगर जल रहा है तू ये राह है तू खुद को जला के परवाना जल रहा है मगर जल रहा है क्यों मौत ही इज गेटिंग बर्न it burns itself on the flame why he why he wants to burn him burn him itself on the on the flame what is that which makes him to burn itself on the flame the poet says why he gets burned if you If you want the answer of it, you have to burn yourself in the matter of love. 
परवान जल रहा है मगर जल रहा है क्यों ये राह जानना है तो खुद को जला के दे मोहब्बत की तूफान लाया गया हो मैं भूला नहीं था भूलाया गया मोहब्बत की तूफान हैव बीन ब्रॉट इनटू द स्टार्म ऑफ लव स्टार्म ऑफ लव I didn't want to get lost, but I was compelled to get lost in that storm of love. Mohabbat ki tufaan laya gaya ho, main bhula nahi tha, bhula ya gaya ho. Mohabbat ki tufaan. Mohabbat kya hai? मोहब्बत किसको कहते हैं दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर कंप्लेट इज फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दी कंपोजिशन ऑफ जिगर व्हाट जिगर सेज मोहब्बत क्या है तासीर मोहब्बत किसको कहते हैं तेरा मजबूर कर देना मेरा मजबूर हो जाना व्हाट इज लव दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर Persuasive stanza was explained by Meher Baba. The meaning of that stanza was explained by Meher Baba himself during one of the singing. What Meher Baba had explained that what is love and what is the effect of love? It is you are compelling me. What love means? You are compelling, and um, my getting compelled. When we think deeply into this matter of love, it is in both ways. As the beloved compels the lover to dance on the movement of his finger, so the lover also compels the beloved. to agree to his loving request both phase this is compelling by the beloved compelling the lover by the beloved and also vice versa the lover compelling the beloved to to come in terms to come to love him or to come to meet him it's a beautiful give and take uh, matter in between these two mohabbat kya hai ta sire mohabbat kisko kehte hain तेरा मजबूर कर देना मेरा मजबूर हो जाना मोहब्बत की तूफान में लाया गया हूँ मैं भूला नहीं था भुलाया गया मोहब्बत की तूफान में मोहब्बत मोहब्बत क्या है मोहब्बत ऐसी धड़कन है जो समझा ही नहीं जाती नॉट गाली विट इज सबसे बढ़िया मोहब्बत ऐसी धड़कन है जो समझा ही नहीं जाती लव इज सच ए हार्ट बीट बीटिंग ऑफ द हार्ट विच कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्लेन इट इज डीप इन टू योर हार्ट you cannot express it you cannot bring it on your lips that is what is mohabbat what is love <laughs> ये छीनिए गारियां निसन 
not by fire not by flame i was burnt by your glory i was burnt by your glory not by flame so not by fire i was burnt by your glory in china gariya hai na aatishne shoole मैं जलमूत फेरे जलाया गया फल जन जल्दी कौन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट साइड जाइए इक्वली गुड मेरे हाले महेश पे ए हसी वालो मेरे हाले महेश पे ए हसने वालो मैं ऐसा नहीं था बनाया गया हो मैं ऐसा नहीं था मोहब्बत तो मेरे हाल महत पे है पीपल आर लाफिंग एट मी एट माई एट माई कंडीशन द कंडीशन दिचुएशन अंडर बीच बी आई एम आई पासिंग थ्रू पीपल आर लाफिंग एट मी बट बिलीव मी आई वॉज नॉट लाइक दिस आई वॉज कंपेल्ड टू बी लाइक दिस मेरी हाल बहिशत ए हंसने वालो मैं सान ही था बनाया गया मोहब्बत तो पान लाया गया हो मैं भूला नहीं था भुलाया गया करू क्या शिकायत में गैरो से अपनी करू क्या शिकायत में देर से अपनी करू क्या शिकायत मैं देर से अपनी तेरी बजम से उठाया गया तेरी बजम से ही 
तेरी बजम से ही उठाया गया बच्ची तू पावे करो क्या शिकायत में गैर सी अपनी Why, why I I should compel, com- complain about other people? Why I should complain about other people? My own beloved has driven me out of his out of his court, out of his my field. There is a scope for me to complain about other people. when my own beloved has driven me out of his court out of his assembly the the craving intense craving which is being expressed in this scene say really when when we sing we remember those days when we used to sing in baba's presence karu kya shikayat mein gairo se apni teri bazm se hi uthaya gaya mohabbat ki tu paane जो आग लगाई थी तुमने उसको तो बुझाया अशकोने the fire which you had ignited in my heart that was ex- extinguished by my tears jo aag lagayi thi tumne usko to bujhaya ashko ne jo aag lagayi thi जो अशको ने भड़काई थी उस आग को ठंडा तो करी ब्यूटीफुल जो आग लगाई थी तुमने उसको तो बुझाया अशको ने दैट फायर विच यू हैव इनकिंडेड इन माय हार्ट दैट वाज एक्सटिंग्विश्ड बाय माय टीयर्स बट व्हेन द टीयर्स देम आर igniting that uh, that fire who is there to extinguish it yo aag lagayi thi tumne usko to bujhaya ashko ne jo ashko ne bhadkaye us aag ko thanda kon kare mohabbat ki tu paaye चरागे तमन्नाया जलने को सेवन चरागे तमन्नाया जलने को सेवन सर शाम से ही बुझाया गया हो सर शाम से ही बुझाया गया हो मोहब्बत की तू पानी 
लाया गया हूँ मैं भूला नहीं था भुलाया गया गजानंद राव वाटवी गजानंद राव वाटवी and, and who, who wrote the song do you remember uh, i am not very sure about yeah. it uh, mm. but it's yeah. a beautiful song beautiful. and uh, he had sung also very nicely if you remember mm. so those days when when we remember and we sing is very touching very touching to our heart because the whole scene appears before our eyes how baba used to appreciate the singing the the singing of what way baba baba had explained to all the gathering that he is such a when he came to know that i like gazals he has practiced some gazals and he he sings it before me it's a very touching incident that a, a person who is not very much con- conversant with the urdu singing but then just to please one personality he has appreciated he has felt the importance of singing in his presence in the personality he had understood what what can be that personality before whom i have to sing and that is how according to baba's liking she had prepared some gazals and sang before baba he was very good uh, uh, person in setting uh, song to tunes mm-hmm. was very very good in that that job so that is that that, that was uh, what we gajanra gajanan ro watwin he had come sometimes to our center also and uh, quite many times uh, he used to talk with us a nice person you must have heard about uh, this uh, what is the name samadhi sadhana ko What? Uh, what's the clue <laughs> no another singer your your music director in biku bai nay i uh, they they were they were both related to each other mm. his name is right in on uh, lips but <laughs> come on samadhi sadhana sanjeevanana <laughs> this is what happens to me nowadays i i just just forget and that that they will never come to me immediately yeah 
Hmm. It happens to me too, Pratapji. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> and actually, this song you sang in Saptaham in Hyderabad in 2006. I remember. Uh, Did it? Yeah, yeah, very beautifully. Uh, the songs are all there in avatarmeher.org. If you go mm -hmm. there, uh, you can find that song. Yes. I remember and, and you had explained like you did just today uh, the meeting and everything yeah, yeah it's so beautiful yeah. I'll put the link for anybody who wants to share maybe you remember so many <laughs> no I remember I heard this and then uh, I went to the website to see the date I was not sure about it 2006 mm -hmm. yeah Mahir Kiran has put the date thing yeah Oh, not that one. But for Baba, whoever singers have come before Baba, they have really sung very selected ghazals, very selected. Mm. They were all uh, based on the what we call is uh, Ishke Hakiki. There are two types, Ishke Hakiki and Ishke Mizazi. Mm. Ish, ishk means love. The material love and divine love. So divine love, Baba used to like. Material love, now many a times, many a times these ghazals, they appear like, uh, like uh, worldly ghazals. Mm. Especially when it comes to uh, drinking. Uh, wine. Nobody thinks so that it's a divine wine. And uh, whenever there is an expression of a wine in these ghazals, it is always a divine wine, not our not our <laughs> wine which gets us into a different intoxication, not that wine. Hmm. It is divine wine. And the one who distributes us wine is a Sadhguru, none else mm. none than Sadhguru. So these are uh, now when, when the, such, such singers, when they sing before public, mm. the public, public have a very short understanding. And they, when we come to uh, drinking or some wine, they will just make halla gula and enjoy that sort of a feel. But it's not so. I remember in Mumbai, this uh, very famous singer from Pakistan, he had come uh, and uh, Jal, Jal Dastur, he just told me uh, he was in Mumbai then, he was serving in Mumbai. And uh, he, uh, Jal told me that Prasab, Adi Kaka is here, Adi Kirani, and he wants to listen to the ghazal of that Pakistani singer, very famous singer. And uh, why don't you accompany us? So I, I said, all right, I will come. What, what Jal said that we do not understand anything of these ghazals. And for us to accompany Adi, there should be somebody to talk about it. So I thought you are a person to uh, understand a little bit of these ghazals and then you can talk, we share your feelings with uh, Adi Kirani and he can also uh, be comfortable with you talking on the, uh, appreciating the ghazals. But then when that ghazal singer he sang, some such, some such singing of wine, distributing wine and drinking wine, people used to clap and shout out, shout in happiness. And Adi would say that this what these fools understand by these gazelles. Usually this uh, these Sufis, 
Sufis have this idea of love. Basically, these Mohammedans, they don't enjoy that sort of, you see, a, a very knowledgeable person who was a, of a Sufi thought. He had come to our house in Mumbai when I was not there and he looking around, he was uh, selling cloth, new cloth from door to door. So he had come to my house. In the, I was uh, staying on the fourth floor and then looking around, he said that your husband appears to be of a Sufi thought. My wife could not understand what, me, what he means by Sufi thought. But then when I came home, she told me that what that person was telling. And then I, I, just, uh, I just came, a thought came to my mind that because uh, Mary Baba's pictures have been displayed on, my, on the walls of my house, and I take Baba to be the master, so that must be the reason why that person must have said but thereafter, I happened to meet that person and what he said is very important. What he says that where Islam ends, where Islam ends, Sufism starts. Wow, well, that's a beauty. <laughs> uh, where beauty. Islam yeah. starts. And uh, it is really so because Sufi thought is uh, very deep. Yeah. Then it, it, is, it is a search from within. Yeah. Mm. Powerful. Yeah. Ah, very. Uh, anyway, now anybody has to <laughs> pass any remarks or. Yeah. Any questions, anybody? <laughs> or any thoughts, any comments? Please uh, go ahead. Yeah, but that's a beautiful song, though. I mean, the one you shared today. Thank you so much. Yeah, so beautiful. <laughs> okay, I remember, I, I mean, this song, somehow I just listened to it so many times. <laughs> I always associate that song with your voice and because yeah. you sang it. That's how we came to know about this song. So beautiful. I was also very happy. I, I, one of my favorite songs, this one, now, Pratapji. Oh, <laughs> I saved it in my YouTube. Wherever I go, long journey, this song will repeat three, four times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> very beautiful, very beautiful song. When, when we sing this song, the whole picture of Guru Prasad it's, it comes to our mind. How Baba used to enjoy the singing of the people. That's so it's a, to have those memories. Yeah. Agony, agony of love. So much. One used to feel that. In Baba's presence, people used to feel that agony of love. It is good that ba looking at Baba, people would be happy to look at him. That's all right. But then it also brings a burning within your heart. That is something very strange. Anyway, now shall we have RP? Please, yeah, it's already late for you, but thank you so much, Jay Baba. <laughs> Do you mind my singing Marathi Arthri? Anything. Yeah, up to you, sir. <laughs> Jai Baba. Anyway, I'll just sing about Bhav Kalti. Bhumal Harti 
popular hindi film musicians in baba like in baba works like uh, baba never listened uh, film music like mohammad rafi or lata mangeshkar never anybody mentions those names why mohammad rafi ki malata mangeshkar lata mangeshkar mohammad rafi yamsa kadi mehr bani Baba never designed uh, those I, music. I tell you, I tell you. Uh, there were proposals earlier, not exactly uh, of Mahmud Rafi, but then uh, for Lata there was a proposal. Then, uh, but then Baba didn't. Uh, uh, Baba didn't. Uh, pushed up this proposal saying that their time will come they will they will come <laughs> now one more thing i would just like to explain here is that lata mangeshkar when she came to mumbai i think she came to pune first and in pune she was staying with a person by name uh, <laughs> this is what happens uh, he he was a father of father of uh, one uh, heroine in hindi picture master vinay master vinay master vinay Huh? Master Vinayak. Master uh, Vinayak. Master Vinayak. He was a, he was he was very much uh, in Baba's contact. Master Vinayak, very much in Baba's contact. And uh, when she came, that family came, uh, Lata Magid's family, they stayed with this person, Master Vinayak. And Master Vinayak was very staunch. Bear Baba Lord, he is big. In in some of the pictures taken at that time, uh, he will be seen along with the group. So Master Vinayak was he was a director and he was an actor also, a very famous person. So that way, perhaps what Baba says is that that time had not come. Like in the case of Begum Akhtar, that time came when she herself came and wept before Baba. So everybody has his own time. Mm -hmm. But then Manade, Manade had had that opportunity to sing in one of the celebrations of Bombay Center. Mm -hmm. but the celebration of bombay center they had invited manade and manade sang there uh, before the baba lovers so manade was there who sang and very famous famous uh, female singer very famous singer female singer uh, her name uh, सरस्वती राणी शी वॉज वेरी क्लासिकल सिंगर शी हैड सन बिफोर बाबा इन गुरु प्रसाद शी अलॉन्ग विदर सिस्टर आई रिमेम्बर नेम ऑफ हर सिस्टर हर नेम ऑफ सिस्टर वॉज ए सरस्वती राणी एंड द मेन सिंगर वॉज ए दिस इज वॉट है Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
तो सो मेनी 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 सिंगर वेरी फेमस सिंगर नाउ वांट टू टॉक ऑफ दिस विनायक राव पटवर्धन इज द पर्सन वाज ए फाइनल वर्ड इन द फील्ड ऑफ द सिंगिंग दैट मैन हैज वेरी पोलाइटली सर्व बिफोर बाबा सेवरल टाइम्स वसंतराव देशपांडे क्लासिकल सिंगर वेरी ग्रेट सिंगर वेरी इन इज नेम देर आर सेशन इन पुणे नाउ सो दीज आर दीपल हू आर सर्व बिफोर बाबा एवरीबडी हैड इज ओन टाइम Hero you know, talk about Lata Mangeshkar. I remember that. But then, what Baba said was Baba didn't uh, didn't take. I mean, this uh, didn't show much interest in inviting her. Perhaps that may be the reason this her time must have not come. But then, uh, did, did they listen to radio <laughs> songs in the in the night time? Manoranjan, the Mandali. Or Baba, nineteen fifty, sixty, they play that uh, nine o'clock Manoranjan, or they don't uh, listen Bollywood or film songs. Yes, yes. Yeah, this, this, uh, this. Uh, they, they had. Uh, <laughs> Babak Mandi had a gramophone, old yeah. type gram, and uh, many many of the singers uh, Baba used to listen to the song, singing of that. Many many singers, so they they one 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 person by name Rangana Jadhav, she had sung in uh, cinema, uh, the Kavali type uh, singer. and he 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 often used to come to mumbai and sing whenever he comes he was in nashik he when he comes to mumbai he will come and sing before uh, uh, baba people in mumbai but that man had said told me one that he had continuously sang for 18 hours before baba <laughs> the first time in quite long time before i came in baba contact but then i had made friendship with him he had a very good stock of uh, uh, gazals with him and nice person very poor person but nice person. all these people are not very much uh, rich people now this bashir who was in pune he often used to come to baba whenever baba wanted to listen to gazal the first choice was this bashir he is a poor person not very much Having car and then very very pompous life, you no. Know, well, just just to just to maintain oneself that much he could earn. They didn't have much name, but then uh, some people have really entertained Baba very much, very much. Was uh, Bashir a poet as well? Bashir was a uh, was a singer. Oh, in Pune. In so he Pune. didn't he, he didn't write songs, did he? Did he compose no, he, songs? No, no. Bashir, Bashir, that Bashir singer, he he didn't uh, compose song. Mm. He he sing he used to sing the song. Uh, all all this collection which. Uh, Which are of very selected collection, I have acquired from Bashir, mm -hmm. because whenever he used to sing before Baba, I would just note down the words, and uh, Baba would also watch this. That whether any good gazal, Baba would ask me whether you are noted down. That used to be a time, and then uh, certain times Baba would ask me to read out. And any mistake in noting the words, hmm. about that. So very, very good gazals. 
uh, he, this Bashir, he had he had exactly correctly uh, understood the liking of Meher Baba or the status of Meher Baba. And accordingly, he used to sing Dosh Baba. He never sang very cheap type ghazals. He never sang that. <laughs> very high, high quality, he used to sing before Baba. <laughs> Chalo. Thank you, sir. So, Jai Baba. Jai Baba. So let's you, all thank take you. Baba's name three times. Thank yes. Baba. Meher Baba Ki Jai. Ki Jai. Jai. Hey, Baba. Thank you. Hey, Baba. Thank you very much. Thanks to, thanks to Baba and thanks to Baba for inspiring you to share all these beautiful songs and uh, stories, sir. Thank you. Hey, Baba. Thank you for touching. Hey, Baba.